what's up babes it's curly's victoria i am back with yet another video if you guys are new here hi welcome to my channel if you've already been subscribed thanks for coming back so in this video i wanted to talk about reinventing yourself what you can do what i've been doing how to reinvent yourself and be able to get the life that you deserve work toward the life that you deserve and desire and how you can do that in double the time um and how you can do that literally by taking daily strides to get to where you're trying to get to so if you haven't been subscribed to my channel like i said take the time to go ahead and smash the subscribe button and if you've already been subscribed and you've just been following me throughout this time i would like to say thank you and if you're not following me on my other platforms such as tiktok and instagram youtube follow me at crayley's the victoria spell the exact same way as my youtube tag here and yeah, let's get right into this video about bossing up and reinventing yourself in 2023. So first of all, you gotta ask yourself, and as I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna be taking notes so that we can put the notes in the phone and we can refer back to these notes. A lot of times too, I like to go ahead and try to copy and paste some stuff and put it in the description box to um, give you guys just a recap. And we're going to title this Reinventing Yourself in 2023. Let's say things to do to reinvent. Let's say it like that. Things to do to reinvent I don't know why this is. Okay, yes. We're putting on um, things to do to reinvent yourself in 2023. The first thing is determine what your goals are. And I'm putting these down, I'm writing this down as I'm speaking about it. So by determining what your goals are, it's going to give you a more definitive approach to what it is that you need to do. If I say, hmm, in 2023, I want to reinvent myself, but I can't tell you what my goals are. How am I trying to reinvent myself? What am I aiming to do to reinvent myself? So it's like, it's that thing of like, you have to discover. Sorry, I washed my hair not too long ago, like yesterday. And I just feel like it's just kind of not laying the way I want it to. But you have to ask yourself, what are my goals to reinvent myself? If I don't know what my goals are, how am I going to strive to reinvent myself for the better? So if I knew that my goals were to lose weight, my goals were to get my skincare back together, my goals were to get my career routine back in order, was to get all of these things back on, you know, in order, then that's what I'm going to strive to do. Um, but if I don't know what my goals are, it's going to be very, 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 very difficult, just about impossible to reinvent yourself. You can't reinvent yourself if you don't know what it is that you're trying to reinvent. So set the goals. The next thing that you could do to reinvent yourself is to establish a routine or regimen, whichever you'd like to say. So establish a routine or a regimen. What time do you want to wake up in the morning? What time do you want to go to bed? Do you want to wake up at 5 a.m.? Start your workout. Do your affirmations. Write out your goals. Do all of those things. Cook breakfast. You know, go to the gym. Like, what, like those things. And then get your day started. Or do you want to wake up 5 a.m.? Shower. You know, cook. And do all the things that you need to do and work out later in the day. Go to bed by 9, 10 o'clock at night. What do you want to, de to do? You need to determine what is the goal right that's number one and then after you determine the goal what is the routine so establish the routine do you want to get 30 minutes to an hour of reading in a day what do you want to do so for example i have like a lot of books that are sitting right next to me but one is called investing in real estate you have a lot of the books that i have i've had for a long time and then there's some that i just recently checked out from the library but like all these other books i own so only two i've checked out from the library recently but to make a long story short you have to ask yourself okay what, what am i interested in what do i want to do what am i striving to accomplish oh i know that i want to invest in more real estate i know that i want my real estate career to 
thrive. I know that I want my brokerage to do what it needs to do. So let me immerse myself in things that have to do with my craft. Or I might say, hey, I want to be able to brand and strategize better for my personal businesses, my goals, my brands, endeavors, and things like that. So let me pick up some books on strategizing, marketing, and those types of things. Um, so you have to determine, establish, you know, after I determine the goals, what is the routine? The third thing that I'm going to say, and a lot of these points I'm making now, I make these points on a continued basis because these are truly important points to have. So then the third thing I might say, after I establish a routine, a regimen, the next thing that I want to do is I want, let's see, you establish your routine, your regimen, I want to schedule block right that falls kind of into your routine slash regimen but I'm putting it as its own separate point simply because to schedule block your schedule that's like that's a whole different situation right I told you guys before in videos I like to schedule block so schedule blocking for me looks like I'm gonna take my calendar I know what I need to do and I'm going to write out everything according to that day by hour right so I'm breaking it up hour by hour so if I'm schedule blocking let's say for tomorrow tomorrow's Monday I might say hey I want to wake up at 5 right from 5 to 6 I want to just I want to be able to get my gym clothes on walk my dog listen to some motivation and by 6 o'clock I want to go work out by 7 30 I want to eat by or make a coffee by 8 45 I want to be sitting down at my desk ready to start working on my business from 9 to 4 from 4 to 5 I want to spend that time to just spend some me time from 5 to 7 I want to do it's the concept of schedule blocking is making sure that everything within your day is blocked off for a specific reason whether you have a doctor's appointment a nail appointment any type of anything if you integrate it into your schedule the day before or the week before or the month before it's going to help you be able to maximize your days if you wake up and you don't have a schedule set for your day it's going to be so easy to always you know get behind it's going to be easy to be like dang i was supposed to do 10 things today i was only able to get five done why because you have not properly managed your time you haven't properly managed your day now granted we're human so a lot of the routines that we set for ourselves as far as health as far as fitness as far as career goals we get offset at times because we are human we are not perfect but if you have that regimen you have that rubric you have that outline it's going to assist you in bossing up and becoming better but if you don't have a routine you don't have a regimen you don't have any type of outline of anything it's going to be very difficult for you to accomplish what you have to accomplish now if you watch my videos and like i said you hear a lot of these points being made over and over and over i suggest that you start integrating them into your life because truly statistically they they're proven and then in your personal life you can see that they do assist you in what it is that you're doing these are things that i'm doing and that i'm encouraging you all to do to reinvent yourself in the year of 2023 the fourth thing that i'm going to say is be original at all times okay so while you're reinventing yourself i'm referring to your habits your goals the way that you you know operate but i'm not saying reinvent yourself to the point where you reinvent who you are as a person you want to be able to still be you because the world needs you maybe you can work on your patience a little more maybe you can work on the road rage and traffic maybe i don't want to call my driving road rage because it's not it's not really road rage i just talk my scenarios out loud so if somebody's driving and they're doing something dumb i'm gonna say it out loud if i'm on camera you're gonna hear it and if i'm not on camera it's gonna be i'm going to probably say it to myself like what are they thinking like oh i don't think it off the phone i don't declare that necessarily as road rage i just feel like i'm speaking out but maybe who knows this year i can develop a little bit more patience you know maybe i can say yes to myself more and less and say no to people more than i say yes to myself for the betterment of my goals we can just do things about ourselves differently that's going to propel us instead of you know the things that have been hindering us or holding you know holding us a little bit hostage from the things that we need to do 
So be original. Reinvent yourself in, in your habits, but do not reinvent yourself to the point where you completely become another person. That's key. Another thing you can do to reinvent yourself is to educate yourself more. And like I said, a lot of these points more to further yourself as an asset. A lot of these points can go hand in hand. Um, but when you educate yourself more and you become a further asset, that's doing more for yourself, but that's also doing more for your brand, your business, and the expansion of you, right? So if I go pick up this licensure, I pick up this trade, or I educate myself on this topic or that topic, it makes me, you know, more knowledgeable. It gives me more wisdom and it gives me, it gives people more of the incentive to want to listen to me because I, one, have experienced, one, I'm educated on the topic of whatever I'm talking about. And in those instances, you're not going to always see how it benefits you then, but you will see how it benefits you later when you're engaging in certain jargon amongst people who are within the same industry as you and your jargon is just picking up super, super heavy in your understanding and your knowledge. That's going to make your conversations a lot more, you know, exciting. It's going to expand your horizon. So educate yourself. You shouldn't have to be paying something to get educated all the time or having to go to a class or do this or that before you feel like you can self-educate. You can self-educate yourself by going to your local library, checking out books, purchasing books, owning your own books, going on the internet and keeping up with articles in your community about the industries that you're involved in or anything. So educating yourself further does not boil down to a specific curriculum. It's just the you wanting to do better for yourself. The next thing that I would say is um, don't diet lifestyle. And what do I mean by don't diet lifestyle? Is a simple fact of you want your health to be in check, right? A lot of people try to, oh, I'm on a diet. Or, oh, I want to, you know, get on this diet. Why be on a diet when you can have a lifestyle? I was having a conversation with a gentleman the other day who was talking about diabetes and having that and how he could find ways to not have diabetes. And I said, you know, He's like, I gotta stop doing this, I gotta stop doing it. I said, well, you can do those things in moderation, just don't do them in ex excess. When you eradicate things out of your life that doesn't necessarily have to be eradicated, then you'll start to feel like your lifestyle is boring and you'll find yourself essentially quitting or cheating. You don't have to do that if you allow those things to stay in your life. You just don't do the most on the consumption. Maybe you know that you wanna eat you some wings every week eat you some wings but you don't have to sit here and eat wings three times a day every day for a week that's excess you know what I mean so just I'll bring it down same thing like when people want sweets you don't have to eat candy every single day but if you want to eat one of your favorite candies once a week moderation right my belly's growling don't even worry but moderation so when I say don't diet lifestyle I'm saying create a lifestyle that's healthy and that can follow with you in your routine. Don't create a diet to where you restrict yourself so heavily that you end up quitting or never starting because you're so afraid of having a cold turkey every single thing in your life. The next thing that I'm gonna say to reinvent yourself in 2023 is to declutter and minimalize your space professionally and personally. So by decluttering and getting rid of the things um, that you don't need, minimalize, it keep, it keep on trying to auto-correct my, when you declutter your, spell, your space and you minimalize, you will find that you can think a little bit better. When you have clutter, it's normally associated with chaos in your life. When you have a clean environment, it's typically, um, when your home is clean, everything is going the way that you want it to go as far as the way things look and how they're tidied up, you'll find that your routine is flowing in that same manner. So declutter and minimalize. The next thing I'm gonna say is be consistent and disciplined. And disciplined. Whatever it is that you want, you can have. 
But if you lack consistency and you lack discipline, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to get what it is that you want. Why? Because you're never consistent enough to follow through. Why? You're never disciplined to continue. People who say, oh, you know, I want my body to be fit. I want to get da 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 woo woo How are you going to do that if you're not doing the things that it's going to take for you to get there? And I say this too. Like, I want to get back on my fitness and get where I need to get. But the only way I'm going to get back to these things is for me to actually put in the work and be consistent and disciplined so be consistent and be disciplined let me title this 10 things to do to reinvent yourself in 2023 since i'm on 1.9 now another thing that i would say is um create a plan when you create a plan for your business and professional endeavors, you'll be able to get through things a lot more. And I'm going to put in parentheses to do um, one, four, eight, and 12 month plans. Break it down. Do an annual 52 week plan. 52 weeks are in a year, right? So break it down by quarter, break it down by week, by month. You know, you got 12 months in a year, 52 weeks in a year, um, and then you have four quarters in a year. Break it down by all of those. Figure out what your goals are. I, I will encourage you to at least have three major goals that you want to accomplish this year. Anything else is extra. But three major goals that are not super easy, not super hard, they're obtainable, but you have to put in work. Set three of those. You set three of those and make that your goal to accomplish by the end of the year. And then the tenth thing to reinvent yourself is, we've already said, be consistent, be disciplined. Bet on yourself in every circumstance. Reinventing yourself isn't going to take you putting you before others, right? And I know a lot of times we know, oh, don't be selfish. You got to put others above you. It's no. We're in November right now, and November is no November. So no to the things that either don't serve you or no to the things that request so much out of you. And yes to yourself. Boss up and be who you need to be for you, okay? Because people are going to treat you like a goofy. People are going to sit here and look to you to do everything for them. But won't even be there when you need them. So bet on yourself. If the circumstances don't seem right with that job, quit. Go bet on yourself. If the circumstances don't seem right with that friendship, quit. Go bet on yourself. If the circumstances don't seem right in that relationship, quit. Go bet on yourself. I can assure you that if you bet on yourself, you are always going to come out on top when you know what you're capable of. That's why when some people say, oh, you did a good job, like, don't beat yourself up. No, I'm beating myself up because I know I was capable of more. How someone sees you does not mean that that's the end all be all for how you see you. You can see me and say, girl, you're doing so good. Anything that you don't accomplish is okay because you're doing so good. But in my heart of hearts, I'm like, mm-mm, because I know I'm capable of a bunch more than what I just let on. So you have to determine, okay, what am I going to do to, like, boss up and set myself up to be where I need to be? Then you have to do.